Hey, so this isn't the usual type of video that I do. However, I've had a lot of people asking me how I got started in the VA industry, how did I grow my VA company, what led me to that from being a mental health nurse on paper and doing, you know, building some digital marketing skills to then creating this really big VA company and helping other clients to build out their teams as well. How did all of that start? And you know what? It, it kind of glitches my brain still when I think about it because I'm like, how did I get into this? It's so random to, to what I ever thought that I was going to do. My journey with this was really just through listening to what I was being invited into. And it started around four years ago when I was working as a mental health nurse and I wasn't enjoying my job. It was paying the bills. I wasn't feeling fulfilled it didn't feel wholesome it didn't feel nourishing for me so it was getting me by working as a nurse so i started by looking at what skills i could build online to make money online be my own boss have time location freedom location all of those good things and i got into digital marketing so i started through digital marketing i started to learn some skills i was building up an agency i was creating websites i was doing seo and then i was like shit this is a lot of work and it was taking so much of my time and energy to do the fulfillment and the delivery side of things and then I just started like I had my ears perked up because I'm as you would know if you've watched some of my content I'm a bit of an efficiency queen like I, I geek out on the mechanics and the systems and like plugging things in and I, I love to learn something but then I love to just like let it go and let someone else do it as well so it was through this process that I saw other people hiring VAs and I was like okay cool like maybe I can hire a VA like it seems like a pretty affordable option and I did have the thought of I'm not big enough yet to hire a VA and that was just a limiting belief right I was working with different mentors and I was diff in different mindset groups and the advice I got was you know hire before you think you're ready so I was working as a nurse on night shift and I would take my laptop in and I would tap 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 away at night and I, would, I was building this empire overnight through that I started to do the recruitment and look for some team members and look at who I could hire to come and help me. And a big thing in the di for digital marketers, you would know that your nemesis, a lot of it is the, the SEO, so the backlinking, the offsite SEO, as well as the onsite SEO, does take up a lot of time. So I was like, cool, like this makes sense to, to outsource. So I went full power, I went full send, and I created an entire course on SEO link building. And I had all these VAs go through, and I had my recruitment hat on, and I was doing it all myself. And then from there, I, I shortlisted like my top five picks. And from there, I was like, okay, cool. So I hired one of them. And then I had these really good people kind of on standby, like in my pipeline in case I needed someone else. And then my friends started to reach out to me and they said, hey, Becca, like they, they were noticing my output in the business. So I was getting more clients. I was making more money. We all started at the same time. And they're like, what's going on? And I was like, oh, I've got these, this VA working on my team now and I can focus on this and this and this the things that are going to move the needle forward and my VA does like the back end stuff the day to day like the repetitive things and they're like cool they're like well if I charge you some money can you hire for me and I was like ah and this is what I mean about like a little nudge from the universe and so I saw that there was a market for this and I was like people need really good recruitment services right they don't want to get a VA that's just going to go missing in action right and it's an entire industry of its own for a reason so I was like okay cool like I kind of had this process down pat that I already put together and we've just refined and distilled this over the years now right and I don't do I don't do any of those pieces but at the time I was like okay cool so I started to hire for my friends next minute I had people jumping in my inbox left right and center and everyone started to ask me to hire for them and I much preferred that over the the digital marketing thing actually so I was like okay cool this is a pivot for me so I went that way I was just like tuning into what was alive in my body and what was exciting me and that was exciting me like I love working with the VAs and you know being able to give them an, an opportunity as well and my HR and my operations manager he sends me pictures of you know they're, they're putting deposits down on houses they're buying cars they're filling the house 
house with furniture, you know, they're supporting their families. And I was like, fuck, like this is really cool. Like we're we're really giving such a big opportunity to these people. Um, and not only that, but these little pocket rockets, like our process, our, like our recruitment process is is rigorous, but it's fair. And we we have testing that's put together by a psychometrics team now. And um, and this is why we call it the cream of the crop or the top one percent, because I truly believe through the hundreds of candidates that we're screening every week that we are getting the cream of the crop um, and it's and it's a process that's been distilled and optimized and refined over the years as well as having an HR ops manager who's been doing this for 20 plus years he lives and breathes this work this is one of the pivotal things that you're looking for when you are hiring staff if you is you want someone who's got a fire in their belly so this is what we've always prioritized in our recruitment process and and this is why we have next to no turnover of staff and our clients stay with us long term as well and and so I just kind of fell in love with this process I love the evolution I love innovation and you know I love being able to provide opportunities for, for these beautiful virtual professionals and, and also our clients who get to free up time and create spaciousness and to actually be the creative genius rather than focusing on these things in their businesses that aren't serving them so that was really exciting for me so over the years built that up and yeah it's been a real journey one of my first hires ever was a social media manager and I had a bookkeeper as well they were my first two hires and then I had my HR manager who's still with me now four years later by the way so that you want staff that are going to be in it for the long term as well and a lot of that will come down to you as a leader I'm actually putting a course together now which is going to be part of our onboarding for all of our clients and it's all it's all about team building like stepping up as the CEO and and, and there's lots of little wisdom nuggets in there so I'm super excited to get that one out there so this has been my journey the four years of building this up we've got an incredible team now we've got incredible clients from the US from Australia predominantly and we started off with just hiring SEO link builders for for digital marketing and then expanded into social media managers and web developers and sales experts and customer support reps and executive VAs and it's just been absolutely phenomenal and the feedback that we get from our clients is is second to none like we have clients reaching out to us all the time like thanking us like thank you for say like helping me save like 20% of my time like thank you for this incredible VA who's like who's just cleaning up my inbox and has just like created so much more spaciousness and energy energy for me to be able to focus on these other things so that really efficiency really really excites me if you can't tell it's been enjoyable that's been my journey through creating this VA company through scaling through building through oh, like if you're if you're a business owner entrepreneur you will know that you, you die a million soul deaths when you are building a business you know it's not for the faint-hearted it's like getting into a relationship right it's easy to be single it's not until you get into a relationship the mirror is up and it's like you have to face yourself right your shadows come out your ego comes out it's the same with a business like you will be faced with your own crap with your shadows and if if you're in this game and you want to transform and become the better version of yourself then it can be so exhilarating and so fulfilling having your own business as well so there's certainly a lot of lessons along the way especially when it comes to finance and admin and stuff and crunching numbers and reverse engineering numbers and all, all that type of thing because we don't get taught that at school right like we don't actually get taught these practical things in school so we have to we have to learn it along the way we have to self-source we have to become self-sourcing to learn these things and and that's the journey right yeah it is a bit like a roller coaster at times as well and, and that's why keeping really beautiful humans around you and having like powerful people within your proximity is one of the number one things that will that will see you to your success as well so that's been a really big learning curve for me I've, I've met some people that have been not so great for my circle have been not so great for my wealth and my health codes and then I've met people that have just like catapulted me forward and it's been reciprocal and beautiful so yeah your business is like a relationship and that's been my journey with it it's been incredible I I love that I've been able to build this business up because it allows me freedom and spaciousness to work on other creative things now like I've just launched a podcast I'm building an e-commerce store because I just love learning new skills as well. So the beauty is when you start to do these things, when you start to outsource and leverage team, you get to really, really figure out how to work smarter and not harder.
harder, right? And and you get to actually enjoy what you're doing as well. Like you know, if you, if you if you're in your business, if you're solo, or if things just aren't working out for you and you and your business right now, I don't want you to lose hope. There's always hope. There's always faith there. Sometimes we just got to let go of the thing that we're trying to hold on to. Like this is what I see a lot in the space is people trying to hold on to things that no longer serve them, or you're scared that no one will be able to do it as good as what you can do. And I can assure you that someone can do it probably better than you. This has been my experience, and it's not always the case. Okay, sometimes you know it takes a few feedback loops for someone to really get the hang of the way that you like things done as well. And this is where it comes, like the stepping into a leader part that I was talking to before. Is it's like okay, like being a little bit flexible and malleable, and welcoming mistakes in, into into your vortex for your team as well. Because if you're the asshole boss who like bollocks your team every single time they make a mistake in your micromanaging, they're not going to come to you. And that might be some short-term gratification for you, and you're like, "Cool, I don't have to deal with that problem." But it's long-term problems because you're not going to be hearing about the crappy stuff within your business, and therefore you're not going to be able to fix that. You're not going to be be able to evolve and grow your business better because you actually don't know what's going wrong if you're not available for it. So that's probably one of my number one things: is like always just be available and be be have a great attitude with your team. Have a great attitude, like welcome mistakes because your team is. Is an extension of you as well. So how you're showing up for your team is likely how they're going to be showing up for your business. And I have seen this over the years of like the waves that I'm in and out and in and out. When I'm present and I'm on fire and I'm here and I'm supporting the, the the team, it's like they're on fire too. And we're go go go. But if I tap out and I have, believe me, I've I've completely tapped out. I was like questioning where I'm going and what am I passionate about and what lights me up. And when I tap out, business goes down. Right, you got to keep your finger on the pulse. Okay, so there's different strategies around that, and systems, and team, and leverage, and all of that helps to hold the fort together. But ultimately, like you, you are the essence of the business as well. So, so much personal transformation in growing a business. And I hope by sharing my story,、uh, you may have picked up some wisdom nuggets from here. Maybe something's resonated. I would love to know. Let me know in the comments below. I'm going to be creating a few more videos coming out as well. Just Going through the different roles, like how you can scale, how you can be a better leader, like entrepreneurship. And if there's certain things that you'd love me to touch on, please let me know. I'm always down for ideas, and I, and I love to read your comments and reply to your comments as well.、Um, if you've got some value out of this,、um, give me a like, share it with someone else that might be able to get some value as well. It helps me to reach more people like you. And yeah, I will see you on the next video. Thanks.